Well, as you may know, a lot of our segments end up posted on YouTube on our In the Upper Room channel. And one of our segments that gets quite a few hits is the interview we did with Michael Wiley. Michael has joined us in the studio this evening and he's brought some of his artwork. So, Michael, thank you very much for joining us. It's great to see you. Good to see you too. Um, last time Michael and I saw each other, we were actually taping a birthday party at the Logan House, yes. which was fun. Yes. But this evening, it's just all about you, all about your art. All right. What can you tell us about your work? Um, the first thing that I can say about my work is that, number one, uh, it's spirit-led. Anything that I am doing, I believe, is a product of uh, my need to express my love and appreciation for what God does for me, and also to serve as a channel so that I can share any message that I feel I've received with the world. And you have, we're going to have you back on in July when it's a little closer to your exhibition. Mm -hmm. But can you tell us a little bit about the up upcoming exhibition? Yes. Oh, my God. I'm so excited. Um, in July, my exhibit will be at um, Tabernacle Full Gospel Cathedral, which is my home church. And it's, it's under the ministry of Bishop Greg Davis and his wife, uh, co-pastor Kim Davis, uh, with the pastor emeritus, Bishop Aretha Morton. And, and we're just so excited because one of the things that um, I was blessed to do recently, we gave Bishop Davis a surprise birthday present, which was a portrait, oil painting portrait. And so we kept it a secret until that day. And then we unveiled it. And I w it was priceless to see Bishop's reaction, you know, and, and just the, the love and support at Tabernacle is something that I just cannot wait to engage in on, on it's July the 13th following morning worship service in the lower sanctuary. Mm -hmm. And would you like to know about the current? Yes, issue? absolutely. Okay, well, currently I'm, I'm uh, co-featured in an exhibit with uh, a talented 14-year-old uh, artist by the name of Demir Davis. Fabulous, fabulous young artist. And, and his being in that exhibit is not charity. I feel strongly that he deserves to be in that exhibit because when I first met him about maybe a month ago, his work just jumped out of the page, and I said, man, this is it. This young man here is def definitely um, gifted, not just talented, gifted. Mm -hmm. so, so we had a, a joint opening at um, the North Wilmington Library uh, at the beginning of June, the first Friday, on the Wilmington Art Loop. And uh, they were so gracious to us, uh, and Debbie and the staff there. Um, they just really treated us well, and, and the, the patrons who came out the art fans, they showed us a lot of love. Uh, Day Day was, a, was just a hit. Uh, I said Day Day, his name is Demir, but I call him Day Day, and a lot of his friends and family call him Day Day, but he was just such a, a hit. His work is just that good, you know, and he sold prints, and I happened to look over, and he was signing autographs, <laughs> you know. So, so, I mean, that was a joy to me, because this is not my first time on the art loop, but it is certainly the first time that I've shared the stage with um, a young person, and that's something I intend to do this summer. I intend to try and organize some e exhibits, and I want to feature the work of some of these young people. Because I was once a young artist, and you know, you knock on a lot of doors, but you can't get there unless someone helps you. Right. We were talking about that a little at the, at the Logan House event, how you know, it depends a lot on perseverance yep. and actually being able to just go out and, and have a thick skin. Right. And, and understand that there are going to be times when you take no for an answer. So, I mean, obviously, of course, you know, we'll be seeing a lot of you this summer. Yes. So we would love to have that, you know, the, the young artist on. Absolutely. Okay. Okay. That would be something that would be fantastic. Uh, you heard that, Demir. <laughs> yes, absolutely. Bring Demir on. All right. So, Michael, like I said, you'll be back on the first Sunday in July. Yes. But we do have some of your art that we want to show, if we can. Michael has brought four prints for us, and I'm looking at the prints, I'm not <laughs> looking at the camera. <laughs> Love, can you kind of describe some of your prints here? Let's start from the upper left-hand corner. Yes, in the upper left-hand corner is a pencil drawing of a little boy, and he's, he's sitting on a stoop, and the title is called Before a King, and it, it reflects a moment in his life as his, he was struggling to, to gain his footing in life, and, and he rose up off that step, and he went on to become a king. So there's no need to feel sorry for him. Can I stop you right there? Sure. Do you often create a storyline around your art? Yes, yes. Because you know why, Shauna, I, I create the storyline because 
these these are emotions that come out of me so there's naturally going to be a story what was going on you know mm -hmm. and, and, and as I understand your question I just think that there that illustrations need to tell a story if okay. not then I'm not finished okay go ahead and then the next one um, right there you go oh yeah that one is uh, titled no fancy parade and it is an illustration that was commissioned by Mother Church's uh, August Quarterly commem uh, Committee for the 2007 August Quarterly Commemorative Booklet. And that one, the original is actually being featured on in the exhibit at the North Wilmington Library. Now, when I, you look at that closely, and I, I'm afraid that it's not coming across, but there's a great amount of detail in that. How long does that take you? Uh, I cannot divulge that. Okay. <laughs> well, all right. Oh, man. Okay, that's fine. Maybe. Will you tell me later? Uh, uh, um, I'll all think right, about moving it. on. There's a portrait. <laughs> There's a portrait, it looks like, right below that. Yes. Yes. That is my bishop, Bishop Gregory Michael Davis. And that is a print uh, of the original oil painting. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and that is just one of my favorite pieces, I have to say, because this this man of God has, has really blessed my family, and he's been winning souls all throughout this town and, and across the world. He's, he's broadcast on the Internet. We're on television. So that's why that is one of my favorite illustrations right there, because that's one of my favorite pieces. Now, if that was a surprise, it was a surprise for him? Yeah. How did you do it? I mean, if you're not having someone sit and pose for you. Right. <laughs> I went to, well, first of all, the ideal for the portrait was my mother's mm -hmm. because she's a mother in the church and she just loves Bishop Davis. And she said she wanted to do something special for his birthday. So my sister and my niece and I and my mother, we conspired and we went to his MySpace page and <laughs> borrowed, we borrowed a picture. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yes. All right. Okay. Well, all right. Well, it worked because it looks like it came out beautifully. And then finally, the last one there. Yes. That is an oil painting done recently. And it's of a figure laying, lying on the grass. It's dual, dually titled. Um, the primary title is Power Nap, and the secondary title is In the Blood of Jesus. Okay. All right. And how long ago did you paint that one? I painted that about about a month ago. What's your favorite, um, or what what is there a um, medium that you prefer to work in? Oils. I see that you sketch too. Do you have a preference? No, I love them all. What did you learn first? Crayon. All right, that's a fair answer. Crayon. <laughs> did you hear that, all you young aspiring artists? The first thing you start with is crayon, and then if you're me, you stick with crayon. Okay. <laughs> You know, I, I talk about my sister a lot, but every time we have an art segment, it just really reminds me, she taught herself to draw. She's a wonderful artist, so maybe when she comes home this fall, I can have her on. Yes, my sister's coming home this fall, I'll tell you about it later. But anyway, um, Michael, thank you very much for joining us. Right, and you. again, remember, Michael will be on again to, to talk more about his exhibit on the first Sunday in July when we're on. In the meantime, you can catch his exhibit with Damir Davis at the North Wilmington Library. How long is that running? It's running through the month of June, and uh, the library was so gracious to extend us through July as well. Okay. All right. Well, I'm going to try and make it out there um, for me, but also for our program, so that I can share it with anyone who wasn't able to make it. So please continue to watch. We'll have more for you on In the Upper Room Outreach Ministries, The Monitor.